Hey guys, Zoop here and I want to talk to you about team gameplay. We finally have it. So far, there are a little over a thousand teams in North America alone. They offer a unique challenge and the ability to finally have more than just three players working in unison. So what makes a successful team? There are two types of teams out there. Those trying to be the best that they can be and climb to the top of the ranks, and those out there just to have a good time, not caring about their wins or ranking. Playing on either is perfectly fine, and there are several leagues to ensure each team has an optimal matchup, regardless of skill. If you're trying to be competitive, there are some things you must do, though. First, resist the urge to play without a full team. You have 10 slots and 7 playing a match. Ensure all are filled, and resist the urge to use mercenaries. While you can get by playing with a base team of 4, the necessary number to get your team rolling, in the early rounds, this will put you at a disadvantage if you progress. If you're going to try and be a top 50 team, try and look for players with at least a 55% win rate. If you're just playing to have fun, no worries. Pick who you have a good time with. Always play with a carrier. Not having one puts you at a disadvantage because destroyers are so important. Carrier spot DDs and keep the other carrier busy. Not having one will not bode well for you. Always use tier 6 ships. Avoid using 5s. Again, if you're playing competitively, you should have a 6 already. Cleveland's are supremely important with their AA. For destroyers, try to avoid the Japanese line. I found that Farragut's and Anshans perform the best, along with the Russian line as well. Battleships are a toss-up, and both the New Mexico and Fuso will behave equally well. I would suggest running a team that has a loadout of one CV, one cruiser, three destroyers, and two battleships. Or you can also run with two cruisers and two destroyers as well. My team has had high success with both. You'll come to find that team gameplay offers a very unique style of play. It's a lot of fun playing with six other people, and much of the frustrations that play ranked gameplay aren't existent. This guide is to merely get you off the ground and give you a starting point. Best of luck out there! The rest of this video is a team match my own team played recently. The team we played was ranked 15th, and we wound up playing them three times that night, taking two out of the three in some very fun battles. We stand at about 30 right now. You won't hear my voice in this match because it wasn't set to record. However, you will hear the rest of my team, so you'll get an idea of how a team plays together. Ready to the Cleveland. Taking some shots on the, uh, on Sean. You wanna just run down this, uh, Grummy? That's... No, I can't that's, 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 that's dangerous, that's dangerous. I thought he was closer than that. Because I wanted to shoot that island really bad. Alright, what are we doing here? You guys want to uh... turn around and try and. Those destroyers are trying to cut us off. I think they capped like two seconds before we did, so. It's kind of on us. They're shooting at me again. Here come the planes. Yeah, we gotta be careful because the Anshan and the Farragut are coming to regroup with them right now. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not gonna overextend here. Okay, I'll pull back also. I'm gonna try to get behind this. It looks like there. the Cleveland started turning around also to offer support. They smoke. Alright, I'm out of move. I'm detected. And Shin, on it's okay for me. I'm gonna get hits on this guy. Good hits. And Let's more. The torps. Here he is, bye bye. I'm uh, aiming on the Paragate. Alright, I'm gonna use this island. Fuck, Paragate, let me on the Torps. Fire. 
Farragut Torps might get... Oh, they died out. Awesome. Anyone got smoke around me? Taco, you got smoke? Can you smoke me out here? Yep, I'm... I can move up. Ah, fuck. Oh my god. My rudder was jammed in the right position. I'm about to get deleted here. Sorry, I'm having difficulty navigating around a fucking island. Citadel to New Mexico. Yeah. Yep, I got a fire on him. Paco, where are you going? Oh, I thought, uh, I thought it was Rhino asking for smoke, I'm sorry. I'm gonna die, I think. See? Ah, fuck! We have a pretty strong advantage, let's not do anything silly. Got a fire on the new max. He's I'm trying. I'm trying to come back, uh, Arsene. Yeah, don't just don't kill yourself doing it. It's all yeah. good. This new Mexico is gonna go down, so this I feel a lot better now. Ouch! All right, I'm gonna try to get to. You. Lost the turret. Front one too shitty. My smoke Let's see if I can get hits soon. on this ferry. Yeah, gets stopped. He just started moving. I'm gonna try to creep around this island. Can you hit that Cleveland? Take his eyes off me. I'm smoking. Right. There's their. Uh, I'm gonna have to sneak through this island here. Oh, hit him for 15k. <laughs> I got the Cleveland on fire too. Cleveland's out of my range. Come on. Ah. That Foose is gonna right, finish me here. I'll try to get him on a fire. Eh, I blocked a couple torps. Pull Rhino back and uh, kind of see what they do. We definitely like we're at a point disadvantage, but I think that we have a DD HP advantage. Yeah, we definitely have the HP advantage. I got the food on the fire. Advantage too. It's at Cleveland right now, and it's I think raining shells in too. I don't know where he is. Last I saw him, he's over by the Fuso. The heck? They have like perfect accuracy and smoke. Yeah, man, they're pretty. They're pretty solid players. I'm, I've been trying to lay smoke screens I can move in. Uh, they're gremming in their Farragut. We're lost, spotted in these two. Oh, I can't ping. In uh, D5 and six. There's the gremmy. There's the gremmy. I'm gonna try and cut them off. Watch the torp bombers coming in. DDs. We've got two left. We have fighter cover. Oh my god, this torp might hit me. I think forward, I can dodge forward. it. There you go. Hit the Grammy's engine. Yeah, he was doing that, uh... Oh my god. 
Oh, thank God. Wait! Oh! Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, the Cleveland established himself as a very good player. Last game. There's the Farragut. Okay, I think Murphy, uh, I uh, broke one of the, uh, Farragut's turrets. I got some free damage on the Grimmy there. I'd say... Taco and Rhino regroup and push, uh, the B... The yeah, we A from the north side. Left. Taco, oh, I'm coming to meet up with you. Cap. Let's push towards A. I have we're in, we're in that. position to block the cap, so Mike, if you try to come in on the cap from uh, the north side of that small outcropping, you'll be protected from enemy fire. Okay. We still have nine minutes left. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. Hang on, I'm coming to try and kill that target. Oh, oh yeah! Nice. We're good, we have the point lead, we can play this defensive now, if we want. Yeah, they, they need to, uh... Looks like you can draw can... the. I don't know. Blocking the cap with the DD will draw them out and force them into a number. This uh, disadvantage, disadvantageous fight that they would have to take. I'm gonna hit the Cleveland from smoke. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna come over to your smoke. I have smoke up as well. Cleveland S numero uno targeto. Scrailing, you got that grim 10k away. Negative. Nice bomb drop. That murph on him. Yep. Okay. I'm moving up on the cap. Ah, I missed. He knows he's there, he just dropped on him, so... I'm being shelled by HG. <laughs> Taco, okay, you, uh, after we cap, push up and smoke for the FUSO? Yep. Wow! 